Alright, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get custom carrier icon uh, for your iPhone. Uh, it's quite simple. The first thing you want to go to the description. Uh, first of all, download the carrier custom carrier logo program and then come to this one with the carrier logos. Uh, come to download. Uh, you can choose either one. I'm just going to choose this one. And then come down to download file, uh, download file zip 110 kilobytes, and just download that. Then get them on your desktop. So extract them to your desktop, and you'll have them here like this. Um, come to the custom carrier logo first. Then on custom carrier logo, right click properties. And come to compatibility. Uh, check run this program in compatibility compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack Free. Uh, if you're on Windows 7, and then apply and OK, and just go ahead and open that. Okay, so now you're here. Come to device. Um, if you're on an iPad, obviously choose iPad. If you're on an iPhone, obviously choose iPhone. Then you need to find out your carrier. Okay, so to find your carrier, you first go to Settings, General, and then About. And uh, your carrier will be listed on Network. Uh, mine's O2 UK. So once you found your carrier, come down and select it. then you also need to find out the current carrier version okay so to find your carrier version uh, come to settings again general about and then come down a bit to carrier um, mine's obviously O2 and then 14.2 you don't need to worry about the O2 uh, it's just the number after 14.2 that you need to worry about that's what you need to put in then next you wanna come down to logo from file and the black and white logo you go to browse uh, it'll be on your desktop um, I'm gonna go change it up to cut the rope first we'll choose the black and white one and go to the logo etch logo And then this time choose the colour one. You can choose any one you want, uh, but once you've done this, click create IPCC carrier bundle. Okay, so once that's done, come to your desktop and you'll see them both here. Um, it'll be original, so you can change back and also the new create one. And you want to go to iTunes, plug your iPhone in obviously. Um, then you want to hold down shift and click restore iPhone don't worry this won't restore your iPhone at all um, then you want to come to here and click the bottom one uh, go to your desktop and look for the files um, then you select it and click open and then that will be it done uh, on your iPhone it won't have shown up yet but you just turn it off and on So there you go, you can see it there in the colour and the black and white. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.